Jesus and his disciples are walking to Jerusalem. They are going to celebrate Passover. It was a tiring journey. As Jesus came closer to Jerusalem, he asked two disciples to go ahead of him. He said, when you get to the town, you will see a donkey tied up. Untie it and bring it to me. If anybody asks you about taking the donkey, just tell them the Lord needs it. When they took it back to Jesus, some of the disciples laid their coats on the donkey's back. As he was travelling, some people saw Jesus coming and came running towards him. One by one, they laid palm leaves and their coats on the ground for the donkey to step on. These people knew that Jesus was special. A crowd surrounded him and started to shout praises to him for all the miracles he had done. The priests thought that Jesus was getting too much attention from the people. They offered money to one of the disciples for more information. Judas told them that Jesus says that he's the Son of God. The priests handed Judas the money. Judas betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. The evening of the Passover came. Jesus and the twelve disciples sat to eat their meal. Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth, one of you here will betray me. Judas said quietly, is it me? Jesus answered, yes, you are the one. Jesus thanked God for the bread and shared it with the disciples. Take this and eat it. Pretend this is my body which is given for you. Then he took a cup of wine and thanked God and said, Pretend this is my blood, drink it and remember me. Then they all took a sip from the cup. After singing a song at a Passover meal, Jesus and his disciples went to a garden called Gethsemane. Jesus began to pray. Peter, James and John watched over him. He asked God for strength. Judas arrived with two soldiers. They planned to arrest Jesus. Judas kissed Jesus on the cheek to point out to the guards which one was him. The guards watched closely. They moved in and arrested Jesus. The disciples were angry that Jesus got arrested. Peter reached for his sword and chopped a guard's ear off. Jesus reached over and healed the guard's ear. They took Jesus to the Jewish council to find something that he had done wrong. They did not find anything until they asked, are you the son of God? He replied, yes. They sent him to Pontius Pilate, the Roman governor. The crowd shouted, crucify him. Why, what's he done, he asked. But the crowd screamed on, so he said, I'm washing my hands of this and I'll do what you want. They took Jesus' clothes and dressed him in a purple robe. They placed on his head a crown of thorns. He was then made to carry his own cross. The crowd mocked him and cheered. His hands and feet were nailed to the cross. Jesus asked some of his friends to look after Mary, his mum. She was very upset. The crowd asked, you saved other people, now why can't you save yourself? At noon, everything went black for a few hours. Jesus died and the earth shook. The soldiers walked up to Jesus and removed him from the cross. He was buried in a tomb which was sealed by a large rock. Mary Magdalene went to the tomb only to find it empty. She saw a man who she thought was the gardener, but it was Jesus. Tell my friends that you've seen me and that I will be joining my father in heaven. Later the disciples saw him whilst they were fishing. They had not caught any fish all day. Jesus told them to 
cast their nets on the other side of the boat. Their nets were filled with fish. Later that day, Jesus had a meal with the disciples. He told them they will receive the power of the Holy Spirit. Jesus rose up to heaven and two angels appeared and spoke to the disciples. The angels told them not to be sad. They said Jesus would return one day. The disciples went out into the world and spread the word of God. <laughs>